Hello my soccer universe and yes I'm very well aware I'm wearing a US jersey when there was the <laughs> European World Cup qualifying draw. I decided for the jerseys to give you my immediate reaction. I look at the bookies and take the first 15 jerseys that I have um, in the ranking and since this is not by a model but the bookies at the moment have Brazil ahead of France ahead of Spain, Germany and then uh, England, Belgium, Argentina, the Netherlands, and so on and so forth. And then somewhere, uh, the last one that did not make it to the world behind Sweden, of all teams, are the US. My feeling is that at least one of the teams that are present, represented here on this wall will not make it to the finals in Qatar in 22. But yeah, it's a beautiful jersey, so why not wear it, although we talk about European teams. Disclaimer first, this is nothing based on my model now, what I'm presenting you. I am just want to present you my first thoughts on the draw. Um, I am shooting this just an hour after the draw or so. Um, but to be honest, I will probably post this on Wednesday morning because there are so many <laughs> videos that I have to do that this will take a little bit of a backseat. But yeah. Here are my first thoughts on the draw. Uh, it's the first time I'm making a video now on the 22 World Cup, uh, which seems so far off at the moment. And I, also are, I know that the qualification has already started in South America, which I so far have a little bit ignored, but you know, once we get closer to the World Cup, I probably will need to cover that too. And I have to see uh, how I will do with other confederations. I probably will go for the final stages in each qualification uh, phase. In Europe though, there are so many groups that I think it goes, I have to walk through it, I have not made a decision yet. Based on those, when I will have uh, a mode where we know how the finals will go and how we'll do with the rating and all those, all those kind of things, then I will, you will get my first projections for the World Cup, uh, likely teams to qualify and so on and so forth and who will win. But Give me time for that. I do not necessarily expect this uh, this year. Let's put it that way. So yeah, the draw for the European qualifiers was made today, which was actually quite complicated. And I actually liked a little bit the new master of ceremonies standing there whenever a team was drawn out. Oh yeah, this is the team. This is a little, uh, nonsense statistical effect about those and they will go to that group and then sometimes explaining due to restrictions. We had restrictions of course. We had the four teams in the Nations League which are Spain, Italy, France and Belgium. Uh, they had to be in groups of five to have a spot for that. So there was only one more group of five uh, to be made there and the rest were groups of six. So, so far so good. Then uh, at the next step they had then a uh, political situation, uh, Russia, Ukraine, Serbia, Kosovo, probably Albania in there, Armenia, Azerbaijan, those should not uh, meet. Cold weather restrictions, you could not have more than two cold weather teams in one group uh, to make the scheduling easier. So um, also that needed to be taken account. And then there was something with the far distance travel, although thanks to draw this never, never came really into play. Uh, I mean, I see that, uh, as we'll see, France will have to go to Kazakhstan, where I'm already saying, yeah, this could probably have been resolved a little bit better. Why well, you make it in clusters? But, you know, um, overall, I think the draw went very well. Uh, it was conducted by Daniele De Rossi, a uh, player I have huge respect for, especially when he went to Boca, uh, which they mentioned there, and also, uh, also by Rafael van, van der Vaart, um, who did, De Rossi did one to pots one to three, the big ones, and uh, van der Vaart the remaining ones. So let's look at the groups of five. Uh, group A, we have Portugal, Serbia, Ireland, Luxembourg, and Azerbaijan. Uh, to be honest, I think it will be a two-way race, Portugal, Serbia, and uh, let's say first things first, the um, uh, first place team will qualify directly for the World Cup, a second place team goes into qualification playoff, which we'll talk about in a little bit as well. Portugal should win this group easily, Serbia should get second uh, in that group. I don't know much about Ireland, but Ireland had a rather dreary showing in the Nations League and, and so on. That I give them an outside chance, but it's Portugal and Serbia in that group. Spain, Sweden, Greece, Georgia and Kosovo. Um, 
Spain, all Spain. I don't think Sweden might have a slight shot of getting a point off them, uh, but this is all Spain. Uh, maybe Greece can get something together, but for, I have not seen it recently. So this is all Spain and then maybe Greece can something out of Sweden, but I think Sweden is the better team. There, Group C, Italy, Switzerland, Northern Ireland, Bulgaria, Lithuania. All Italy, Switzerland is a nasty opponent, but all Italy. <laughs> I have to say this clearly. Uh, Northern Ireland will not be an easy game for the Italians. Um, I think uh, that will be a tougher game in many ways than Switzerland. I actually think in Northern Ireland, Switzerland, there could be Swiss a much more steady team than Northern Ireland. I know that. But I think there could be a little bit something coming. Unfortunately, Bulgaria don't give much chance in that group. Um, France, Ukraine, Finland, Bosnia and Kazakhstan sounds interesting because um, France has this kind of spotty qualifying record. They will still make it out of that one. Um, I want to see how the Finns will do, but I think Ukraine should be favored there as well. Then Belgium, Wales, the Czechs and Belarus, Estonia, uh, all Belgium and then Wales and the Czechs for a second spot. Rather easy. Then Austria's group, which of course is interesting to me. I have to say Austria got lucky, but I still think we'll have a hard time uh, making the top two because our coach is not using our players right. Denmark, Austria, Scotland, Israel, Ferry and Moldova. Very even on the top four. I think Denmark, clear favorite in here. Uh, Austria should be clear second and by potential, Austria should challenge Denmark. But uh, however, I think it will be more a dogfight between Austria, Scotland, Israel. Fortunately, the Scots have been so poor as of late that I think this will probably be just enough to Austria to get enough points out there. And I hope they don't uh, lose again to Israel because that is there. I mean, there are two banes in there, Israel and the Faroe Islands and Moldova. The last place is never an easy out as well because they, they never lose, lose but they always make it hard. The Netherlands got a rather tough group. Netherlands, Turkey, Norway. I don't think the Netherlands will be cruising through that one. I'm curious what uh, Turkey and Norway, who will be the uh, bigger challenger there. Another one that's rather even where I, that's the one group that I've earmarked where the pot one team is not the favorite. Croatia, Slovakia, Russia, Slovenia, Cyprus. I honestly think that Russia has, has a shot at winning this group. Croatia is probably the best squad in there, but this is, from the top three, and I think they, uh, if I would have to pick now, I would say Russia, uh, Croatia, Slovakia, Slovenia. That's how I feel about it. Well, yeah, let's see. Uh, group I, England, Poland, Hungary. Um, England should win this one, but I think Poland, Hungary, are both, and uh, don't underestimate the Hungarians. This could be a tough one. Um, but yeah, England should be the one, and I think Germany uh, got a gem of a draw. I mean, this is a group that even a poor German team should never have any problems with. Uh, Romania, Iceland, pick who you think is the biggest uh, challenger. None of them should be a challenger to Germany. Germany, I think of all the, the, te the teams here should have booked. Uh, Germany, I call Germany and Spain to have already booked the uh, places in the finals based on these groups. So uh, last thing, um, qualifying playoffs. And now uh, before we get to those, I made a slight mistake in my U uh, UEFA Nations League um, uh, Final Four draw uh, reveal. The playdowns will not play be played in March next year, but they will play in March 2020 together uh, with the uh, qualifying playoffs to make it all super com complicated. No one is following anything anymore. So yeah, uh, I'm very happy that after the final for the Nations League is still not done. Anyway, uh, second place teams make it to, to the playoffs. And then uh, since there are only um, 10 second place teams, in order to have a full playoff path with 16 teams of which four only four, so there will be the paths drawn, as we know now for the Euros, but this will be much more competitive uh, paths. And to fill this up, to make it 16 teams, the four best group winners from the last Nation League uh, will go in there. And those group winners, uh, just to recall, are France, Belgium, Italy, Spain, all four of which I think will make it. Then Wales, Austria, Czech Republic and Hungary, uh, if they're not second placed, and I think all of them, maybe the Wales and the Czech Republic, that that's already won. Uh, yeah, Wales and Czech Republic, one of those will probably not make it because they play with Belgium. So uh, they will go in there. Uh, Hungary, Poland, yeah, could also be. And then Slovenia, Montenegro, Albania, Armenia to fill it up 
later on. So uh, very interesting there. And of course, they're all then the more than ones there are then um, seated at the top six second place teams in the group where the last uh, in the if you're in the group of six, the six place team does not count. To make it really complicated, and then uh, those that fill uh, fill in are actually unseated as well. So very very complicated, very long procedure. But yes, this is how we will get the 14 spots for Europe at the next World Cup. Um, as I said, these are just my feelings. Who uh, will make it out there? I don't want to predict now. Any anything will. I have to program all this to give you a proper projection for that. So yeah. Let me know what you thought about the draw. I actually thought for a draw this was very professionally done. I wish that many other draws are done that quickly. I could do without all the chit chatting beforehand. But when the draw was made, it actually went uh, really, really, really fast. And I like that the draw should proceed rather swiftly. So yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more, drop a line below what you thought about the draw. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!